Hi guys, my name is Tayyip Sumer. Today we are going to make an automatic incubator tray. For that, you need uh, three types of dimension words. First of uh, them, they are 21 centimeter, and we need three of them. And then after that, we need 24 centimeter of uh, them of five. Then we need 20. 7 cm of 4 pieces ok so here is how it is going to work I have to uh, figure it out for you we are going to make uh, two rectangles which are same exact uh, dimension uh, like this which are going to be a same this thing is going to be a base where uh, these two pieces will be used as the pillars for the tray and over them the same uh, exact type of rectangle will be held over them and will it, it will swing over it so we are going to make two same exact rectangles and over that this tray standard act tray will on like this. I'm using this uh, very tiny bit for the drill and uh, I'm using these uh, 1.5 inches screws so the thing is that uh, before we uh, start to screw in them directly we better have to drill the holes in them otherwise it will crack it like the wood which uh, no one wants okay here how we are going to work like drill in every and same thing as we are going to do that on to that 27 meter centimeter exactly on the same on that as well okay we have to drill a hole in all of the 20 uh, 5 centimeter okay I have made the holes and then now we are going to uh, screw it Okay, our one rectangle is ready. Now I'm making another rectangle. Okay, now we have two rectangles which are exact the same. Now we have to use these. 21 centimeters on the sides like this as a pillar so we have to make a hole in them Okay, we have uh, both of them holes. Now we are going to tighten it with the screw on the sides of them. So we are going to first we of all we have to measure where do we have to uh, attach them. So if we are making it clear, pillars over here. So first of all we have to take our center of uh, 27 centimeter, uh, sorry 25 centimeter. There we go. So it's coming out of 9.5. So it is like 475. So here it is 475 over here. So right here we are going to make a hole. So our hip pillar can be attached with the screw. So we have to make a 
pull on both of the circles same exact on where we are making a hole over here so it should be exact same here and exact same on the both sides Now we are uh, going to screw it over here. The pillar is going to be attached to the base, so we have to do it. And our base with the pillars is ready now. After we have attached the pillars, so uh, stopping this from moving, we have to again a uh, hole here so there will be two screws holding up the pillar okay as we have secured it now it's not going anywhere the pillars are attached very firmly now uh, our this rectangle is uh, going to be under them like this and it will swing it like back and forth for that we have to make holes over here and over here onto the pillar so we have to make holes one inch apart so if we want to change the height we can change it later by uh, one inch apart only or maybe like this on the one uh, two and three and we have to drill the holes the big ones so we can use those screws over here the exact same thing on to the Here, here, and here. So we are not going to use this one. We are going to use the big one like this. So we can, so we can use this uh, uh, nut bolt over there. Okay, I have three holes into the pillar and the exact same thing we are going to do the second pillar. Now we have to uh, make holes in them. Here we have uh, our tray holder uh, base with the pillars. Now we are going to attach them by the help of nut bolt we are going to use this over here like that so our tray with the base is ready uh, so it can move easily back and forth 
like this okay our tray is uh, ready now we are going we are going to use this motor which is a printer motor you can check its specification it is as moment and this is uh, s move and it's 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 very uh, slow rpm motor which is very useful in projects like this so we are going to secure our motor over here like this and this is the pvc v pipe u pipe whatever so we are going to put it over here and it will twist over like that so the our stick is going to be attached over here and when it uh, pull it push it and it will also pull the motor up when it uh, pull back so it is going to pull back the tray so here it is the mechanism first of all we have to make ready or this uh, stick over to it okay here we have uh, this tray now we have to mark it over one inch apart So here we have uh, this stick and we also have to make a hole over here. So let's see if we are going to make uh, 3 inches, 1 inches apart holes over here on the top side. We also have to make holes on the down side where the motor will be pulling it up and down. this uh, stick which are we are going to use as the motor over here and we have to make it ready but uh, right now we are going to use it as like this okay from this part we are taking about three inches uh, of this part and the stick is going to attach over here. Right. Okay, so our motor part is ready. We have to make it this motor ready for this. If we have the motor here, uh, so it is a U pipe of PVC. Now we are going to make a hole over here on this part. So let's do this. Okay, we have the hole here, and we are going to use the. Uh, we are going to use this bolt like this and you are going to tighten it but before we do this we are going to make attach it to the motor like that I'm using a small bit so we are going to make a hole in them as the same These are one and a half inches. Now it's not going anywhere so we have to put this like that and then tighten it with the board now it's tight enough and it's not going anywhere it's going to work perfectly 
So now attach it to the our base which we made. Okay, here we have our motor ready. Now we are going to attach it over this by the help of Jubilee clip. Okay, now motor is connected right now. It's not going anywhere. So it's going to be at Attached by here like this so if it is pulling down it's going down under like that so here uh, our tray is uh, ready now we just have to put our back tray over it okay here it is a 12 volt connector I'm connecting it to the motor right now so it will be easy to use it. Tray is ready right now. Let's okay, our incubator egg tray is ready now. And now we are going to connect it to our 12 volt battery. Let's see how it is going to work. So our incubator tray is ready and it's working great. Let's see. So in here if you really feel like it's not working on, it's not tilting enough. So you can use this uh, nut to take it out and put it on another holes. So it can be simply be used as a custom made incubator tray. Let's put some egg on it. Let's see. Okay, so it's uh, working perfectly. It's rotating equally on the both sides, uh, which is very good for the hack. It's very simple mechanism, and everyone can make it. Okay, if you like the video, please uh, subscribe because I'm going to use that uh, tray in my homemade incubator, which I'm going to make in the next video so please subscribe and if you like the video of i make it in wood you can also watch the pvc uh, tray i made before this so it is just same exact the same position like that and it's working uh, better than that so Tell me in the comments if you like uh, this one or this one. You can see this video in the links in the description. You can find this, this, uh, how to make this PVC one in the description. And if you like it, please tell me in the comments. And